I woke up and I felt like I had been stabbed in the back. They told me that I had pneumonia. My lungs weren't functioning properly. It was unlike anything I'd ever experienced. The chance of surviving was the percentage of being struck by lightning. The doctors had done pretty much everything that they could. Your life can change in an instant. I had no idea how critical the situation was. The one last chance we can try is the Penn Lung Rescue Unit. Dr. Vernick got up in the middle of the night and came and got me. Penn Lung Rescue came busting through the doors. I heard the helicopter land. It was like the cavalry arriving. Doctors were always like just at the perfect timing in the sequence, just a step ahead of where we needed to be to save her life. The ECMO machine is one of the key things that saved my life. ECMO is a complicated way of saying it's a device that exchanges gas with your blood. So you basically take a patient's blood, run it through a machine that has a pump and what's called an oxygenator, and is able to put oxygen in the patient's blood and take carbon dioxide out. Now mobile ECMO is a way of saying we're gonna do this procedure, which we normally do in our hospital on super sick people, and do it in someone else's hospital. This is a portable device, and we can take somebody who is, you know, lungs aren't working at all, and basically do the job of their lungs. Or, if their heart's not working, do the job of the heart and lungs. For the lung rescue program, we're targeting the patient's lungs. Prior to the beginning of the lung rescue program, patients that were in need of our expertise would often have two options. One, continue consultation with our team, or in a very creative fashion, work with our PennStar team to bring these patients here in a very acute fashion. Oftentimes, these situations were very clinically challenging, and when they arrived here in our ICU, patients often were in a worse shape than they were when they started because of the transfer. There was a number of reports coming out of Europe regarding successful mobile ECMO programs. So we really looked at ourselves and said, not only does our region need this, but this is something we can do and something we should do. This is one of the most fulfilling things I do. Like when I get to the outside hospital, the families are very scared. To be able to reassure them like, okay, if there's a shot, we can give it to you. What was happening before is when the patient would get that sick, they wouldn't call us because they knew they'll die in transport. So the real key to the continued success of the program is the amazing team and resources we have access to here. What makes our lung rescue program unique is our commitment to the best quality of care for our patients. We feel that if we cannot offer our expertise by bringing it to them, we should bring the patient to us. Transport, success is the key. The Lung Rescue Program is something that really changes the course of what can take place in an illness. We're gonna expand the indications with new technology, perhaps expanding the footprint, expanding the distance, helping more patients. We can take somebody that almost everybody by any measure thinks is definitely going to die and save them. There's no well, reason a young woman who gets pneumonia should die from that. Our outcomes are some of the best in the country. We know that from our databases, but what we'd like to build is even better. We'd like to get as close to perfect as possible.